Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I thought I would share with you some of the items that I picked up throughout the week. Every Thursday, our small town hosts a farmer's market during the summer months, and it opened a week ago. Um, one of the farmers posted online on one of our local community pages that they were picking up asparagus. So that is what I picked up, a big bag here. I believe this is close to 20 pounds of asparagus. I'm going to, of course, cook some up fresh and share some with the family and then process the rest for the freezer. But I'd like to eat as much of it as possible fresh while it's nice and uh, fresh here. So we got that and then we picked up some milk from a local dairy. Um, just some regular white milk and chocolate milk. Of course, I normally love my Azure Standard HUHU milk, but I don't have an order coming in for that for another week, so I'm excited to have some local milk. Also, from a local farm, we picked up some stew meat. Thought I'd have that for the freezer. And then we had some local growers there with some starts, so I picked up some Candy Mountain corn, one more lettuce to replace uh, one of the lettuces that... Uh, didn't make it in my garden. I have a little pot of lettuce that I shared in my um, garden tour video that was missing a lettuce, so I found one for that spot. And then also for the garden, I have a loganberry, which is a lot like a blackberry, so I'll be putting that in the garden as well. So that's all we got as far as um, you know, food and veggies and things like that for the garden. They also had a delicious food cart there, so we decided to pick up some hamburgers and some loaded fries there. They were calling them Irish nachos. So some delicious burgers and fries to enjoy today as well. So it was really fun going to the farmer's market and seeing so many people. The weather was beautiful and it was just nice of being there and picking out some fresh produce and things like that. So that is what I picked up this week at the farmer's market. In addition to the farmer's market this week, I also stopped in at Winco to pick up some items that I needed for our family dinner this weekend. And then I also picked up some more items for my pantry. So here's what I got for fresh ingredients. I got six pounds of hamburger and a bunch, two really big bags of bell peppers. I'm going to make a big family sized batch of stuffed bell peppers so I needed the hamburger for that as well as the bell peppers. I picked up some milk for one of my recipes as well. I'm kind of running low on the fresh milk that we got at the farmers market is really delicious, but I knew I was gonna need some milk for a uh, layered lemon lasagna dessert that I'm making, so I picked up that. Got some grapes and bananas and three bags of baby carrots. I wanna make uh, carrot bread this week. And then uh, some onions, a bag of onions. And also for my lemon lasagna dessert, some cream cheese some lemon juice and a lime juice. And then also I needed some more minced garlic for the fridge, so I just got this little bottle. Before I know it, the uh, garlic in the garden will be ready to go, so I figured this was a good, sort of a smaller size to buy. And then also in the produce department I found these. These are little Venus fly traps. My son said he was looking for some Venus fly traps. Um, so I picked him up one and then I got another one as well. So that's the majority of the fresh foods that I bought. Then I did buy some items for the pantry. I decided I would stock up quite a bit more on pasta. Pasta lasts a really long time, so I think it's a nice thing to have stocked up. I got rotini garden spirals, which I use for my uh, pasta salads, um, medium shells, and penne pasta, my husband's favorite. This is a uh, radiator. I, I think I'm saying that right. I don't know, but they're very cool looking spirals. I love those um, in different pasta dishes. Some egg noodles, a bag of small shells, some bow tie pasta, and then I also got a three pound bag of spaghetti. I needed a couple more boxes of cereal, so I got some Cocoa Puffs and Raisin Bran. And I realized I was running a little bit low on sugar, so we picked up three bags of sugar. Then I needed some Jello for my layered lemon lasagna um, dessert that I'm making, so I got a lemon and a vanilla pudding. Also decided to pick up some Better Than Bullion. I haven't used this variety of bullion in a really long time, and I'm not happy with the, uh, one of the bullions that I've been using recently. It's a little bit too salty, so I thought I would try this. Mostly I just prefer making my own broth, but sometimes for quick dishes, it's nice to have that on hand. I picked up some chow mein noodles. We have a ton of lettuce in the garden, and I thought these would be nice to incorporate into one of my salads sometime during the week. My husband loves his dark chocolate. This is the kind with a touch of sea salt. And then my um, Winco started selling uh, Augustine Farms for a very good price. So I picked up three um, Augustine Farms containers here, a uh, number 10 can of butter 
water powder, um, one of vegetable stew blend, and then one of potato shreds. I was really happy to see that, and I sure hope that they keep um, stocking Oxen Farms in their bulk food section. I was running low on pancake mix, so I got some of the Buttermilk Complete Pearl Milling Company kind, and then I also thought I would try the Jiffy Buttermilk um, Pancake and Waffle Mix, which is also uh, a complete mix where you just add the water. So I thought that would be nice to have on hand. And then every time I go in a store lately, I pick up some uh, cans of chunk chicken breast. I got six more cans of that and six more cans of tuna. Then I noticed in our pantry we were running really low on cheddar cheese soup, so I picked up six cans of that. I got a couple packs of Hawaiian rolls to go with our family dinner, and then a few snacks in their bulk section. My husband got some wasabi peas. He loves wasabi peas and these um, Asian rice crackers, so he picked up some of those. And we needed some Triscuit Thin Crisps. And I always like to have a couple of cookies on hand. I mostly prefer to just bake my own, but it's nice to have some on hand just in case you need something quickly, if company pops over, or if my grandson's wanting something like that. So I got a Chips Ahoy, the Chewy Chips Ahoy with brownies, and then some Fig Newtons. Also some tapioca, and some butterscotch pudding. And then lastly, I actually spotted this first when I first walked in. This is called Blackberry Smash uh, Brisk Iced Tea. I've never had this before. They had a bunch of different flavors, but blackberry sounded really good. I love iced tea in the summer quite a bit, so I thought I would give this a try. So those are some of the items that I picked up at Winco today. And for this trip at Winco, I spent $238.27. Overall, I think a very good value for quite a bit of food, more items for my pantry, as well as everything I'll need for a nice big family dinner this weekend. So I hope you enjoy taking a look at what I picked up this week at both the Farmer's Market and Winco. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.